police continued their investigation tonight into a shooting at the Fashion Show Mall on the Strip. We have team coverage for you tonight. Let's start with Fox Eyes' Christopher Redford, who's been getting updates from police. Yeah, right now the Fashion Show Mall and the surrounding area still locked down from a shooting that happened earlier tonight around 6.15. Responding officers found three gunshot victims who were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Police think it started as a fight, and therefore it's an isolated incident. Right now they're saying there is no danger to the public. That being said, the suspect is still on the loose. There's been police helicopters circling with spotlights pretty much nonstop since we got on scene a couple hours ago. Now, the mall closed at 9, but there was people that they were holding inside waiting to be released by police with a few kind of trickling out at a time. It's only really been within the last 45 minutes that they started uh, letting people out of this parking garage here. Let's head over to Kyla Gaylor. She's on the other side of the mall where she's been talking to witnesses. Hey, Chris, I talked to two people who work inside of the mall. They told me it was pretty scary. They didn't know what was happening at first. All they saw were crowds of people sprinting towards the exits. Terrified. I just wanted to get to the back. These two teenagers were working inside the fashion show mall when someone started shooting. And I seen people like running one way like sprinting one way. Luis Cazares told me he and his co-workers at Shoe Palace grabbed the customers inside the store and brought them back to hide. You can't see through the like the window through the front. One of my co-workers said that it was like somebody shooting. I was just got done helping a customer and I turned around and I heard something like loud but I thought somebody just stopped the board. After that I heard another one go off and then everybody just starts running and like screaming. <laughs> After the second gunshot, Salora Curry told me she knew it wasn't someone dropping a cutting board. When she saw the crowds of people running, so did she. If they're running from something, I should be running too. Meanwhile at Shoe Palace. We were just back there trying to stay calm. After about 10 minutes, mall security told Luis and customers to evacuate the mall. We had to close down the store. Once Salora made it out. And I called my sister, I called my mom, I called my brother. Basically, all my family members telling them that it was okay. Luis and Salora told me they'll be a little nervous heading into their next shift. Because it can happen again anytime. People come there to like have fun and like shop without being terrified of being shot. Detectives will be out here for several more hours searching for evidence that could lead them to a shooter. The mall is closed for the night, but police said it, all, it, it is all clear inside and it should be back open during its regular hours tomorrow. Reporting live, Kyla Gaylor, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.